trying this again. I'm going to work on epoxy picture frames today. These are um, four by six photo frames from Maker Flow Crafts. I ordered the white ones. I think these were like two bucks each, three bucks each, whatever. Um, they appealed to me because I had this nice wide edge. So I already started this one, but I have a couple of chippy brushes ready. I have some paints ready and I'm just going to get them coated real quick. If you want to tape off your backside, go ahead. I don't really worry about it. I'm going to clean the resin off and probably just paint the back a solid blue. So I only have three of these, so I'm going to kind of assembly line my way down them color by color. Using a chippy brush, you may get some little stringers in there. You can clean them up later. Pick them out, whatever. Use whatever brushes you want. Use whatever paints you want. Um, I prefer to do my frames painted than epoxy, not the paint in the epoxy. But if you're more comfortable doing it that way, by all means, do it that way. This is what works for me. So, try and remember the inside bit there. All right, so that is one brown. I'm going to come in with a darker brown, and I'm okay if I mix these paints up because it's just a sample color, anyways. And I'm just going to rough it in. I am not an award-winning artist. My paint skills are always lacking. So I don't worry about it. I just want a sandy color. That's all I'm going for. Quick and dirty. Mostly I'm using chip brushes because they're what's handy and clean. I hate to clean paint brushes, so mine tend to get nasty. So next up I have a couple of colors of blues and I'm going to start with my darkest blue fresh brush and I'm going to work from the top this time And these are going to dry super duper fast because it's really, really hot in my room, first of all. And these paints that I'm using, uh, sea paints, dry really, really fast. So, so I'm going to work kind of quick because I don't want them completely dry because I want to blend them a bit. So... I'm actually going to switch from using my jars of paints to my liquid paints. Um, that way I don't have to worry about double dipping my brush at this point. So, because I only grabbed out three brushes and I have like five or six colors. So, okay. that's my dark blue and I'm gonna shake up some other colors here 
unfortunately the end of my shelf I need to get to is kind of blocked by a lot of stuff. I'm going to go with a super light along the sand. It's not really that intermediate. Okay. I like this color. I grabbed two of it. So I'm going to grab all three of these. And I just touched my wet brown paint. But I'm going to run a line of color. Probably way more than I need, but it's fine. Again, I'm not an artist. Oops. Got a little blue on my sand on that one. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab my brush. So this one's going to be like my darker colors brush now. get the inside and I don't know if I did this part of the last one I did not so I'll have to double back and get that I was just gonna do one and make this quicker for you guys but I still end up with as much dirty brush if I do one well, if I do, <laughs> I end up having to dirty more brushes if I do multiples. If I don't do multiples, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's better for me to work three the same at a time. So. There's that. And I'm going to grab my, I wish I had another smaller brush handy, but I do not. These are already starting to dry. Like I said, it is really, really ridiculously hot in my room. So I'm just going to smooth out what's already there and then I'll add some more paint and carry on. So I can make sure I get my borders done too. But these end up blending so much that's why I'm fine with just using four colors. So I'm gonna get this back. And this one. And finish them up.
Make sure you're doing your sides. And your inside. And I will touch up that piece. I promise. Out. This one's turned the not so dry way. some more of my brown because I did not do here on this one and I got that little bit of green paint mixed in so I'm gonna get that off of there and I can get this so a piece of that ribbon Just blending out that blue color. Yeah, I'm getting where I touched the corner. <clears throat> Let's see what I need to do on this one. Again, I did not get the inside. So I'm going to hit that with a brown real quick. Whoops. Lots of whoopses. All right. So I'm going to come back in with this darker one. Whoops. See, there's another whoops. That whoops was I dropped the lid. with some of this little wispy white showing through because it's going to be wave action anyways. So these are good. I'm going to clean up my mess, let them dry, wash my hands. I'm going to come up and get them propped up on medicine cups and I'm going to put them on board so I can move them out of my way and we'll get into the resin step. Okay, these are dry and I'm ready to move on. I have a little cup set aside for white. I'm going to grab a cup. Then I'm gonna put a little bit in for some sand. And I have the rest of it mixed up here. I'm gonna scooch out of the way a minute. Um, I mixed up a big batch because I'm doing several projects. This is the end of my super clear um, I got mine on Amazon, but you can find it at their website. Also, I will link to it on Amazon below though, um, but I'm ready to jump into this. So, oops. the first thing I'm going to do is get out my sand. That's what this little cup was for. Oh, I already have a little scooper in here. And I'm going to pour some sand right in here. Because these are going to get embellished. I'm going to set that aside. I'm not going to put it away because I'm going to use it again in a little bit on a different project. So. 
and I'm just going to, um, I do have one of these off to the side that you're not going to be able to see, so I'm going to be working my way back and forth. And I apologize for that. It's just these are big, and the boards they're sitting on are big, so we're just going to do our best to work our way back and forth. Two of these are going to go into my retail space. One of them is going to get shipped off as a gift with some other stuff towards the end of the week. But I want to get this sand layer on first. And I really should have put paper under these on these boards as well, but too late now. Uh, for the style I'm doing here, I can do this as a one-step process. So I'm just going to pour on my resin. I'm going to do all three of them. And I don't know how much this is going to take. You're just going to use whatever it takes to work. Basically. Because you're just top coating a frame, it doesn't have to be a super thick, heavy layer. I do want to do a little extra along this bottom edge where the sand is. And I do have a silicone mat over there to put my um, container down on. So I'm going to grab a baby wipe so I can wipe my gloves off a little bit. They're right next to me so I don't have to go anywhere to get them. I'm going to keep that handy. I am just going to spread this around. Push it over the edges a bit. I'm going to try and not get too much sand mixed in now. The sand part I'm just going to kind of make self-level. So... I mean, it's nice if your whole edge gets coated, but it doesn't have to be like super coated. Just enough to give it that nice gloss finish like the rest of your piece. And I have more in here than I really need, so I'm just going to use that to run along the edge. I'm just going to dip my glove and swipe the edge. I haven't spread this one yet, so it's silly. I'm going to do this one. Same thing. And there is going to be some waste where it drips off. I really like the super clear epoxy for molds. Um, I know a lot of people are using it on cups. Um, the glitter company I buy from frequently, it's pretty personal. The owner actually uses it on her cups. Um, I haven't used it on cups at all. 
and I don't really plan to, but I do really like it for molds and things, especially things like this, where you don't need necessarily the most expensive resin for doing a picture frame. Okay, so those are coated all the way around. Now I'm going to mix up my white. So I have my Alumilite resin dye. It's an opaque dye. I'm going to squeeze some of that in here. Excuse me. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of my Pinata White Blanco Blanco alcohol ink. Just a little squirt. And I'm going to grab a stir stick for that. I like to use a skinnier stick for this purpose, so I just broke a coffee stir. You know, you get little coffee stirs in bulk at the grocery store or Sam's Club, BJ's, whatever you have. That's what I use for this type of thing. And you're just going to start running some lines of white wherever you want your waves to be. I may blow most of this top line off, but it's fine. Like I said, I was going to mix up too much white. That was just inevitable. Come back to this one. a little bit more through here. Even though I am going to put um, shells and stuff down in the sand. That will be our final part of this process. So, I'm going to set my white aside. I'm going to wipe my gloves off again. And I'm going to grab my heat gun and my torch. Sneak that around there. I didn't already plug it in, so. The first thing I'm going to do is torch it real quick. The sand is blowing bubbles in here. And I didn't preheat my resin, so I do want to give it a little bit of a torch. Um, if you want multiple layers of waves, you can do this in two stages. I don't really need multiple layers. Just doing one pour is going to be enough for me. So I'm going to turn my heat gun on. This thing has multiple settings. I'm going to turn my heat down basically all the way and my fan up all the way. And I'm just going to start pushing. And like I said, this is going to blow some of that off. I might give it just a little more heat.
I'll try and blow some of that white out of the corner. There's a lot over there. There's a million different things you can use for wipes. There's products made specifically for this purpose. I don't happen to own any of those, so I kind of made my own little concoction. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pause you, because you don't need to see me blow out two more of these. And I'm going to repeat on this one and the one off to this side, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm all blown out. I am ready to embellish them a bit. I have some little sand dollar shells. I'm actually... I'm going to just run a little bit more clear just to give these a little bit more of a grip. Just because I did push quite a bit off. So, there. I'm going to give them each a sand dollar. Or two. I'm going to use the bigger ones for this. I'll keep the smaller ones for um, coasters. And I'm going to put only on this one um, a little turtle. Just because this one's the one that's going to end up being the gift. So, I'm going to give it my little special touch. And I have some faux beach glass in blue, and I have some in green. And I'm going to put a little bit of on here. Keep in mind, I have one down at the end that you can't see. I will show it to you when I am done. And I'm going to grab a little bit of the green. The green ends up blending in much more on all of these projects that I do. I have pink too, but I don't use the pink a whole lot. It's just not... It doesn't have that beachy vibe I look for. And I have some pebbles, because there's always pebbles at the beach. So I'm just going to put a couple of them on. Lost that one. Oh, no, it landed. And on to shells. Um, some of these my mom sent me. I don't know where they came from. Some of them are from Dollar Tree. They actually get quite a variety of little jars of shells in. They actually had a bunch the other day, but I didn't have a spare hand to, like, load up on more. So, unfortunately, it would have been the time to stock up. I'm going to put a couple little shells down. I'm not going to, like, mad crazy overdo these. These are some different shells. These are not Dollar Tree ones. They're just in the Dollar Tree container. These are ones my mom sent me. But I really like some of these ones. I'm just going to sprinkle them on because they're small and they're a pain to hand place. I 
And these are more that my mom sent me, these little zebra guys that are just adorable. I think anyways. Hopefully some of them will land right side up. Place your shells and things however you want. Don't use them if you don't want them. I happen to like the extra touch they add, so I use them. These ones are Dollar Tree. They're slightly different than the other ones but similar. So I keep dropping. I'm just going to drop on one of these. And then I have some of these little black spirally ones. They're not my favorite, but they give it a little bit of extra color contrast at least. So, also Dollar Tree, definitely. That one I do know. And these will stick in the resin if you want to add more resin later. You can top them all with resin. I'm probably just going to pour a little bit over the top when I'm done here and just let it work around them and they'll sit where they sit. But I think that's plenty of variety of show. So I am just going to grab my little cup of resin again and and this will sink will sink into the sand dollars. They'll soak that right up. So I'm just gonna swirl it around and let it land where it wants to land. Just help hold some of those bigger shells down a little bit if they decide they want to move. So I am just going to take my glove and go over the tops of the sand dollars a little bit, just so it coats the entire thing, since it is gonna soak it up and slightly change color. But, that's it. That's all I'm doing to these. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Or not. Just a fun little frame for somebody that's been on a beach trip to put their favorite picture in or whatever. I'm going to bring you down now that my gloves are off and let you see each of them up close. So this one will be going to retail. Sorry about the shadow. And then this one will be the one that's being a gift. I do have a little spot in the resin here that turned kind of green. It might have picked up some paint or gotten a little bit scorched. So I might brush that off. But there's that little bonus turtle. She's going to love it. And here's the other one. So, one, two, and three. Thank you for watching.